guys, let's get back into it. <clears throat> Dragon's Dogma 2 here on the channel, Game On, where we're just always gaming on. I'm Lucky, thanks for coming back and checking us out for some more. Now, we're on our way to the capital here with Gregor, and apparently, the Gate Watchman has told him, well, what about the Arisen that's ruling the land right now in the capital, the Sovereign? He's like, well, this guy, us, can actually control the pawns, which is a key sign of the true Arisen. So one of us is a false. So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna apparently find out. What's this? Man, this is like a place where they sacrifice people. They tie you here and push you off or something. That's kind of weird. It's about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? Yeah, let's go. Aye. Mind, I have time for a citizen in need. Well, he doesn't have anything else to say to me, though. Man, light and dark is really well done in this game, just like the first one. Some of the brights are super bright. The shadowing is great. Look at our own shadow on the ground. Look at how realistic that shadow is. That's probably the best one I've ever seen, guys. Wow, I'm impressed. The sun's right up there where it should be if that shadow were to be right there. The moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to... An ox cart was meant to meet us. Oh, God. It is nowhere in sight. Oh, thank God. Or may have befallen it. Best we press on. Yeah, the ox cart oh, reference right there. A mysterious sort. Some know them by another name. They're said to travel twixt the worlds through those, uh, rift stones, I believe they're called. I'd not mind a journey to another world myself, provided it were only temporary. Now, the ox cart reference, as I was saying, is from the very first game, where one of the very first things you do is escort this ox all the way to the capital. And man, it is a boring, slow quest. And one of the longest escort quests is known to man. You guys go check it out on some of the videos I did. I did a whole Let's Play of the original Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen DLC also. Um, and it's in there. It's like the second episode or first episode. I think it's the second. Infamously long and excruciatingly painful. Exquisite dried meat. A piece of meat from a rare beast, dried and condensed its flavor. Excuse me, dried to condense its flavor. Consume it to recover a fair amount of health. So there's a lot of health items, very few stamina items I'm seeing. Very few. A little bit worrisome. Especially since they didn't really do what they said they were going to do with the stamina as far as make it so you can run around in the open world as far as you want. They got rid of that completely. Which was interesting to me because I heard that was one of the aspects was no more stamina consumption outside of battle. But it might just be too hard for them to do that. And so they didn't. Which I don't blame them for if it was too hard. Oh, you. Mm hmm. Let's get these grapes. Grapes have always been really good items in Dragon's Dogma. Not only for crafting, but massive healing ability. Ooh. I thought it was a cave, it was just a shadowed corner. <laughs> I got so excited, I was like, oh, another cave. Okay. Well, I'm assuming we're going to catch up with this ox cart. Oh, look at that. So fit to camp here, it would seem. We have. Surely a rest can one, wait two. After we've examined our surroundings. Well, I don't want to rest. I want to activate this. 30 rift crystals is cheap. We need one more pawn. Kane. Okay. You look burly. Nine. Jeff. Whatever your name is, Zachrick. So it's pretty cool that there's all levels of pawn. That guy's a huge warrior. Ranging from two to seven, two to nine. Nine's the highest. I'm attentive and loyal. 
and prefer to oh, wow. by your side. She's got some cool tattoos. I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Her lips are kind of wild. It looks like she had too much uh, of that liposuction. Or, or, is that what it is? Where they j shoot that stuff into your lips? It will be an honor to serve by your side. Then I think we're gonna take you, Kane, and switch you out with. I shall be proud to serve you, Arisen. It's time to get rid of America. Yeah, she's level five. Thanks, though, girl. Let's give her something special to take back to her master. Huh. Ring of Exultion. Slightly boost maximum health. Wake Stone. That's kind of a little too nice to give away. Let's give me that exquisite meat we just found. Tis a pity we must part after sharing such a journey. I shall cherish If ever you need a veneer to listen, you have but to ask. Okay. So we've got two new pawns upgraded. Let's leave the rift and continue. And that's what you gotta do, because if your main pawn will level up with you, but the side pawns will not. So you gotta keep doing that with your party. Well they definitely that keep giving us plenty of camp sets. Any ideas as to how we might reach? I don't know. Let's make camp first, then we'll talk about that treasure chest. Well they definitely give you plenty of opportunities to rest. Look at all of us. It puts us all in here too, even those other guys. That was really a nice touch. A good sleep okay, we gotta give wonders. some of the other guys some of these items. It's too much for us to carry all at once. I didn't want to do that. It's not really taking much off there. Really haven't found any armor or weapons yet. Come. We've much to be getting on with. I'm blighted. Ready to forge on? Yeah, I am. Pray, call upon me again another time. Is there aught this pawn might do? Small talking. So how do I get rid of this with my panchia? Do I have one of those? I don't have it on me. We just suffer. Suffer blighted. Well, maybe one of these herbs. Health item. Drenching arrow. Nice. This will do it. Where's my new concoction I just made? There it is. Man, I'm still very heavy. So I've got to give some stuff up here. Man, I gave a pawn who's on my main pawn in my bag. I don't know. Remember we found that Jasper? A jewel prized for its use as a protective charm, scarcely seen in battle. Okay, so that must be some kind of upgradable item. Too many things. Perhaps I ought to be more selective in future. Hmm. Okay, let's carry on here. I like how they mark those chests on your map for you too. Wonder how far a range those pawns have. Yeah, we obviously we can't get across this river. It's death to us. That fish was so big, that was like a shark right there. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, they said they're 
There's gonna be no stamina consumption outside of battle. Whoa. What the hell? Oh, what's going on here? Is everyone all right? Yeah, we're way over here. Of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. Yeah. Hopefully that's all that is. Now we've got five Seekers tokens so far. We're always looking for more. Oh, look at that. There's a chest here that I got. Look at that. No token, but this is just as good sometimes. Maybe this will be our first piece of armor. Age Shorefish. Nope. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Well, look at that. Oh, get up out of there. Really? Yeah, luckily it doesn't kill us. It just takes us back to shore, but all my pawns made the jump and I didn't. That was embarrassing. Get up, master. Get up. That's a cute way to cross. You can take the bridge. Or you can just jump across. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, old wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Well, we're looking. The water looks really good in this game, I'll say that. Hello. Uh oh. Is that deer somebody's friend? Oh, it's a, oh, right up there, look. Ambush, it's an ambush. These guys are pretty weak, though. Wherever there's goblins, there's gold, though, we know that. Whoa! All right, Muad'Dib leveled up. Stamina, health, strength. What's with the exclamation mark? I still haven't really figured out what these points mean. Hmm. You know, we've seen those points at ladders before. Maybe it's up there on that rock. No, it's like right here. But I thought it marked like view view points and lookouts. But I could be wrong. That's some grapes. That's cool. Well, been a while since we found a Seeker's token, guys. Man, I love this game so far. It's fantastic. I don't think we're gonna make that jump. Ah! Oh, we got it! Nice! More goblins down there. Oh, don't give away your position yet. See if there's a rock we can throw at them. There's no crouch. There's no real stealth in these games. Oh, you're about to get right in them. Okay, we'll flank them. Go around here. Come on, guys. Let's get after it. Well, we're hit and run. We're not a DPS. Well, we are a DPS character. That's why I like these characters to be. Attack very fast. And put out high amount of damage. But right now, it's more of a hit and run. We're not really enough to stand there and just straight up grind on guys. Come on. 
Oh, good throw. I sat there and just let you kind of do that. I love that goblin laugh. Did you guys hear that? It's fucking maniacal. Woo! Man, so no chance. That high five cracks me up too. Dread Spud. Oh, 1100 gold. Oh, there we go. We're making money now. And this is basically our first armor set. It's the chain mail, it's the brigand leather pants. Oh, I could have thrown all that stuff at him. These explosive barrels, but we didn't. And the base daggers. I don't think I have anything special on. We'll rock this for a little while until we build up enough gold to get a cool set of stuff. Is that an explosion or a rockfall? I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! My await is on the road ahead. <laughs> Oh, I never set my Shadow Cloak ability. We could achieve if we honed our talents further. Oh, another Golden Beetle. Come here. Uh huh. Right by this dead harpy. Oh, there's a live one. There's a trap. It's a trap the whole time. Bring him down. We'll take him out. You gotta bring him down to me. I don't have that in snare move at the moment. But I'll get to him and finish him off. There's a nice chest, a couple of nice chests over here. Whoa. Freshly rested is No, 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 no. It's not gonna do that. These guys are tough too. Uh -oh. Whoa. I keep hitting the wrong button too. Look at that. Oh my god, that flame move is so cool. Come on. Come on. Nice. Goblin horn. Fire once again. Extremely potent and extremely important. Maddeningly close. Ring of Indifference. Nice. This is the first semi-item, semi-armor item we have found. I'm going to almost consider it one if it does any kind of buff. Well, it puts it right on. We're wearing it. A ring that grants power to the wearer whose spirit resonates with its magic. Reduces damage taken from strike attacks. Okay. Oh, I consider that to be armor. Which is perfect for us. We needed that. We're right up in there taking physical damage all the time. All right, now this chest too. There's two of these nice chests right by each other. Fulgris Lord, soft neck wrap, 500 gold. Such a thing escaped my master's notice entirely. I think we already had that soft neck wrap at one point. I don't think it's new. It offers a little more ice. Elemental resistance and debilitation resistance, but no difference in defense. So. I'm loving this, guys. Oh, parkour. Ah, so cool. Queen of the world. There's another chest over there. We gotta go get. You see it? I see it. Hive. With all these, I don't know. With all these rocks, can I go faster? I'm almost sure I can make it over there. The hell? Shall I assist? Yeah, let's go. What's going on here? Oh, that's a dog. I thought that was a person. 
There might be a cow, I don't know. Either way, it's not yours. It is a pleasure to meet you. Oh, cat lady. Archer named Blake. Cool. She was just a pawn that saw a bunch of bad guys and decided to have some fun. Let's go grab that chest. If we can, I don't know. Is it over here? What's up there? Chest. Can't make much out from here, but I have a feeling it will be worth the climb. Leave this to me, Master. I'll see us through. Shall I assist? No. Hmm. Don't have very many more options. I mean, that was like one of the only ways there. Let's see here. Uh, we'll come back to that one. Uh. Look, master, a treasure chest. Yeah. I have to find a way to reach it. I know, I know. We will eventually. Right now, let's go ahead and continue on with the main quest. Go back to Lanert here. Wow, there is so much of this land to explore. This was like the size of Granus. And this is all extra. All of this is extra. That's gnarly. I, I, I guess we're going the right way. Like, where you at? Let me see what happens when I go up to this guy, which way he goes. Because he'll lead us. The ingredients are yep, he's going this way. No harm in picking a few. Watch out, Moadim. Get out of here, crows. Don't really see what they were going after. We've got plenty of harps, bud. Always take grapes, though. Man, I love grapes, too. Holy smokes. Especially if you get some really good ones. It's like this kit never gets you. I mean, it's like this kit's unlimited. Feels as light as air. Okay, we need to equip our shadow skill. Shadow cloak. It's a circle. Wait, no, damn it. That's not what I wanted to do. I'll traveling beyond the rift. If I am covered a treasure chest hidden in this very low car. Shall we seek it out? Oven cook. Age scrag of the beast. Let's cook it and see what it makes. So that's a new dimension. Whoa. What the hell? That's weird. They used a real animation. Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. Th Indeed. Surely we've time for a short kip ere we continue on our merry way. That, I don't know what to think of that. That was one of the weirdest things. I almost think like, wow, that was really cheap to do it like that. But 
to each his own, I suppose. Let's break camp, guys. I don't know. I f they didn't want to do the animation, so they threw a live video of a steak being cooked. I mean, is that really what that was right there? I don't know. I didn't like that at all. We'll see how much more of that there is in the game. Because that totally ruins the immersion when they did that. Okay, let's continue. Sir Gregory. Nothing around on the rocks. What's this? We're trapped. Oh no, we're not. I know what we do here. Oh god. Oh, our first ogre battle. Cyclops, excuse me. He doesn't have much health. A cyclops. Think we'd encounter one here of all places. A cyclops. Ready. Be on your guard. Oh god, I hit our own person with the rock. Where the cyclops, master? Can't we destroy these rocks right here? Wow, they're way bigger in this game than they were in the other one. Best way to deal with these guys, climb up right on their head and just start getting after them. Oh! That was kind of a new thing to do. I wonder what he would have done if he didn't get interrupted. I wonder if we can get him to destroy these rocks here. Come here. Big baby just sat down on his ass. Come here. Gotta keep lighting them up. There you go. Grabbing larger foes in battle. You can grab hold of a foe while standing by making contact with them while pressing R2. Once you have a hold of an enemy, you can push or pull them to draw their focus or knock them off balance. There we go. Boom. Oh, that's sick. That is so sick, guys. So, like, as he's falling, I can pull his feet and make him whack his head like that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is dope. What's up? It's over. Don't even fight it, it's over buddy. No big deal. 2,000 experience, that's huge. That's the most experience we've got yet. Definite level up. Woo! Seem I misjudged you. I had taken you for another false arisen. Nah, man, we're the real deal. Yet the valley you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this as a marker. Give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brand. Oh, so is this where we part ways then? You can make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch. And I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well. I, of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the ox cart. It is your decision. Well now. Well now what? The road's blocked. The cart can't get through like this. A powerful current ought to set this rock to crumbling. We can summon one. Wonder, oh, there's a barrel right there. Missive to the captain. So we leveled up Muad'Dib. We leveled ourselves up. Now let's go over here. And obviously it wants us to throw this explosive barrel into those rocks over there. I mean, that's almost as bad as the yellow paint, right, guys? Ah! Whoa! Now that's what we should have done at first. 
Those graphics were kind of cheesy, though. I'll tell you that. Like, some of the graphics, like that state graphic and that graphic right there in animation, a little bit iffy to me. So I don't need you guys to make my way down there, but we're going to make our way to together regardless. <laughs> Misshapen eye, rugged bone, beast steak. I dare say the quandary of what to do with it is half the joy. Okay. Man, I need another Seeker's Token. There's got to be a Seeker's Token around here. There's fish. Hmm. Hold fast, Arisen. I will be with you in but a moment. There's ought to be found here. Let us ponder how best to proceed. Yes, seeker's token. Yes, I got six. Now here's a surprise. don't don't do it. Oh my God, I almost fell off. There's so many times I've almost done that. I shall have to inform. So we got two seeker's tokens. Two hundred thirty-four left to go. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. I wouldn't mind a chance to doze Whoa. up as the hills roll by. Hey, look at that. There's the ox cart. But we'll have to drop it down from above. Well, ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? We do, guys. But we're going to do it in the next episode. We're going to end this one right here and stop record. We'll keep live streaming. I won't stop the live stream. We'll continue on here in just a second. Let me get a drink of water.